Welcome back, sons and daughters of the Most High God. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome for the reading of 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. Hallelujah. Dear friends, don't trust every spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father God. Father God, we pray right now, right at the start of this message, right now, hallelujah, we see you, you nasty lying spirits trying to come against this word because you're caught in the name of Yeshua. You are bound and you're cast out in the name of Yeshua to the dry and arid places. You are done. Your assignment is canceled right now in the name of Yeshua. Your assignment is canceled. Everything that you have stolen is loosed and every single thing that you have, uh, uh, everything that you've stolen is paid back to the father. You will pay back everything that he commands you to pay back and you will, that lying spirit, that's trying to come in and confuse the message. There's coming in to, to, to try to hide. You cannot hide. Yeshua sees you. The angels see you. God sees you. The Holy Spirit sees you. And we see you, you lying spirit. So we do not trust every spirit. In the name of Yeshua, we thank you, Father God, for your word, that they are bound and that they will be judged and there will be no mercy. There will just be torment in a lake of fire for those nasty, evil spirits that have aligned themselves with Satan. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father God, thank you. So we agree and we do not trust every spirit. We will not trust every spirit. On the contrary, test the spirits to see whether they are from God. That's what we will do. As children of God, we will be sure to test the spirit behind every message and every word ever spoken to you. That's not just prophetic words. That's not just people in church. That's not just your... No, it's every single word spirit spoken again towards you if somebody speaks a word towards you you test that spirit if that message is uh, the spirit behind that message is from god every single one and you you take that you you recognize it you see it you you see it they're caught in that moment they're bound in the name of yeshua they're caught they're bound and they're cast out to await their judgment and they will never be, that spirit will never be able to work on earth again. They will no longer be able to work on earth again. They're done. They're canceled in the name of Yeshua. They just wait around in judgment in the dry and air places. Okay. So if somebody says hello to you and they go, hello, you know what I'm talking about. That's the spirit of sar sarcasm. Don't respond to that in the natural don't respond to that in the natural. God's not calling you to respond and fight in the flesh. He's telling you to respond and fight in this in, in in the spiritual things by through prayer. Okay? They come at you, oh, how are you? Don't get upset. Don't get caught up in offense. That's not for you. You just see it right then and there for what it is. You see it right there for what it is. That's some kind of what is that? What what was that? What is that? Disdain, despise, disgust. There's some disgust causing spirit behind that. Some arrogance, arrogant spirit. We see you. We see you, you nasty arrogant spirit. You're ca you're bound. You you're caught. You're bound. You're cast out in the name of Yeshua. Forever. You're done. Canceled. Loose everything in the name of Yeshua. Done. Okay. Not any not any person. Not any word, not just the prophets, but definitely test the prophets. Definitely test the people in the church, the spirit behind the words in your, especially the things that are representing God, 100%. Yes, uh, that's, but it's everybody, y'all. Test all the, test the spirits behind every word spoken over you, around you, to your children, to your, to your spouse, to your, to your friends, to your family. Hmm. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, because right here, okay? Thank you, Father God. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you. Test the spirits to see whether they are from God, right? Because many, many false prophets, like who do you know is walking around being like, I'm a false prophet, y'all. I'm a false prophet. You know?
They're not walking around saying that they walk. They prayed around as angels of light. They prayed around as angels of light. Like, they're liars. They're lying spirits. They're lying spirits walking around as, praying around as angels of light. They're liars. The devil's a liar. Those nasty spirits are liars, okay? Don't don't confront that in the, in the natural. Again, if God leads you to, uh, very specifically, very specifically, you know, stand with God in it. But when you see it, just catch it. You, I see you. You're caught. You're bound. Cast out. You're done. In the name of Yeshua. They're done. Pay it back. In the name of Yeshua. It's done. Right? Don't Don't address that in the natural. Address it in the spiritual first. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. They're out in the world. They're everywhere. I'm sorry, but the, the false prophet spirit is every is all over the world right now. It says that. It's out into the world. They've gone out into the world. That does not mean they're not at your workplace. It means that they're at your workplace. They're at your schools. They're at your church. They're at your they're in your family. Okay. There are false prophets everywhere, and they don't go around saying they're false prophets. So test every spirit that comes spoken over you, around you, to your children. To your spouse, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Test all the YouTube spirits. It's just the word is spoken over all the YouTube videos you watch too. I'm not trying to pick on anybody, you know? But test me. Test me. Because God, test me. God, please test me. You know, lay me out. Lay me out before you, Father God. And I don't have to, I don't owe it to anybody. Except for God to do what God, be obedient to what God has called me to do. And that's it. So it's up to you. Test the spirit behind this word and I pray God gives you eyes and ears to see and ears to hear his voice in it clearly clearly so here's how you recognize the spirit of God every spirit which acknowledges that Yeshua is the Messiah came as a human being is from God and every spirit which does not acknowledge Yeshua is not from God so so this is a tricky one y'all you have to judge their fruits because you this they're praying around as an angel of light right and so some people don't want to say anything and they're not going to say anything. So you just have to trust the Holy Spirit with that. And you have to, you have to say, you have to say, they're going to say that. But in the way that they say that is sometimes in their fruit. Okay. You have to see if they will say that Yeshua is the Messiah. Yeshua is the Ma Messiah. How do you know it? We saw that in, in, in chapter three, that they do what God says. That's how we know we we know because they do what God says. You know, they don't keep on sinning. So we have to look at their fruit. We have to make sure they're not going up, going on and sinning and, and and keeping on sinning. That they're doing what the Father says. They're doing good, desiring to do good, right? We just saw that in chapter in chapter three. So these are these are not. You know, God's word is whole. He's a whole human being. He's a whole, well, he's not, God is not a human being. Yeshua is a human being, but he is whole, right? He doesn't separate himself out from chapter three and chapter four, you know, it goes together. So what I'm saying is every spirit which acknowledges that Yeshua the Messiah has come as a human being is from God. We know that by their fruit because they'll be like not sinning. They'll be trying to become pure. They will want to purify themselves constantly. They won't like sin. They will hate sin. Okay. They will hate evil in the world. They will advocate against it because their heart will pour out over it and they will hate it. They will hate these um, injustices and oppression. They will hate it, okay? So you are children of God who, and you you children are from God. That's you. Okay, actually, no, I skipped something, sorry. Um, every spirit which acknowledges that Yeshua the Messiah has come as a human being is from God. And every spirit which does not acknowledge Yeshua is not from God. In fact, this is the spirit of the anti-Messiah. Mostly people say anti-Christ. This is the anti-Messiah. That means anti-savior, anti-way, anti-truth, anti-love, anti-life. Anti That's the anti-Christ, the anti-Messiah. Uh, Satan's against everything and all of his spirits and all of his entities and all that. Da, 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 and anybody who submits themselves over, you know, gives themselves over to reprobate mind to be used by the devil. You know, that's anti-messiah, anti-truth, anti-life, anti anti-light, anti-Yeshua. You have heard that he is coming, the anti-messiah, the anti-messiah, the big one, or so to speak, the uh, head, the one who's given himself over completely to everything. Oh, uh, uh, uh. To all things evil. Well, he's here now in the world already. 
that anti-Messiah spirit is already here. Like I said, you children are from God and have overcome the false prophets. Praise the Lord, okay? You have overcome the false prophets. So you can hear from the Lord and test that spirit and overcome the false prophets because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Okay, so I don't want to hear this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'm just, no, you have overcome. The light is in you and the darkness cannot overcome it. Okay, so beloved friends, let's see. Oh, sorry. So they are from the world. Therefore, they speak from the world's viewpoint. See, test their spirit. You could tell by their words. You could tell by their words. And the world listens to them. You can see how the res world responds to them. If they're getting promotions and da -da -da in the world by doing things the world's way, then you could kind of tell that they're not surrendered to Yeshua and that you need to approach them and test that spirit. You need to test every spirit. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Okay, whoever is not from God doesn't listen to us. So another thing, you know, it's like, you know, we have to think about like if we see somebody who's not received by the world and but the Holy Spirit is leading you to listen to that person, that could be a person. Maybe the world doesn't like them, but the Holy Spirit is leading you to 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 follow, to listen to their words, to listen to what they're doing, even though they don't necessarily seem popular. That's because the world doesn't doesn't know them. You know, they don't know us. They might not know you. This might be a word for you that you'd, you know, you, you know, you find that people don't listen to you. People don't want to listen to you. Well, they don't want to they you don't think like the world's viewpoint. You're not speaking the same language. You know, you don't see things the same way and 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 it's you know. So we are from God. It's because you are a child of God. Whoever knows God listens to us. We listen to one another. We recognize the spirit in one another. That's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the same in you and in me if we are all carrying the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is one. He is holy. He is the same. He's not changed. He's not different in me and different in you. He's not, you know, where, you know, he's not, he's the Holy Spirit himself is the same, right? We share the same Holy Spirit. So we recognize one another. Beloved friends, let us love, wait, sorry. Whoever knows God, listen to us. Whoever is not from God doesn't listen to us. This is how we distinguish the spirit of truth from the spirit of error. Beloved friends, let us love one another because love is from God. And everyone who loves God, who loves has God as his father and knows God. Those who do not love do not know God because God is love. Here is how God shows his love among us. God sent his only son into the world so that through him we might have life. Here is what love is. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the kapara for our sins. Beloved, if this is how, loved, how God loved us, we likewise ought to love one another. No one has seen has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains united with us and our love for him has been brought to its goal in us. Hallelujah. 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 Beloved friends, I'm going to say it again. Beloved friends, if this is how God loved us, we likewise ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains united with us. And our love for him has been brought to its goal in us. Your goal every single day, every second, every moment of every single day is to love God because he loved you first. You're unable to it because it's his love that loves him. The Holy Spirit is, you know, like, anyway, that's a more complex thought. I'm not going to get into it at this moment. God remains united with us and our love for him has been brought to its goal. Your goal every day is to love God and to love people every day. His children, his, his children, every single day, love those who God loves. Here's how we know. And that's, and then that's when you're done. It's completion. It's brought to its goal. It's brought to completion. You're done for that day. Did you love somebody today? <laughs> Hallelujah. You did exactly what you did. Did you do seven loads of laundry? Maybe not. You sat there talking to somebody when they needed a, they needed time to talk. Then praise the Lord. You sat reading the Bible because he told you to read the Bible for 10 hours, 8 hours. 
He said, finish it. You haven't read it all. And if you don't know my word, you will not be able to defend yourself and put on the spiritual armor in the time to come. You need to know my word. If he tells you to stop doing what you're doing and read the word, do not despise that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God remained denied with us and our love for him has been brought to its goal in us. That's love for the father. If you put God first and you read his word, you know, if he tells you to sit down and read my word, read it from front to back, read it in 10 days. Oh, that can't be done. That's impossible. Through all things are possible through Yeshua. Amen. There is no impossible. If God tells you to do it, put everything aside. Yeah, but I got to do this and I got to do that. And I, and it, I got bills to pay. Who's your provider? You are? All right, you're on your own. No, that's not for you. You are a child of God. Put him first, love him, and read his word. Amen. Also, we have come to know and, tru and trust. Let's see, sorry. Here is how we know that we remain united with him, and he is with He with us. He has given us to us from his own spirit moreover we have seen and we testify that the father has sent his son as a deliverer of the world he set you free he's delivered you from demonic oppression from sickness disease and from following anybody except for him there is no one that you should ever bow down to above him not one only bow down to the king yeshua the king of kings and lord of lords so you are delivered from bowing down to anyone to be like mordecai be like mordecai you refuse to bow down to anyone but but the king. If someone acknowledges that Yeshua is the son of God, God remains united with him and he with God. Also, we have come to know and trust the love that God has for us. God is love. And those who remain in this love remain united with God. And God remains united with them. Here is how love has been brought to maturity with us. As the Messiah is so, so, as the, here is how love has been brought to to maturity with us so that's in us as the messiah is so are we in the world this gives us confidence for the day of judgment there is no fear in love on the contrary love that has achieved its goal gets rid of fear because fear has to do with punishment the person who keeps fearing has not been brought to maturity in regards to love hallelujah we ourselves love now because he loved us first. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. That is a lying spirit. We see you. You're bound in the name of Yeshua, cast out and awaiting judgment. Loose everything in the name of Yeshua. We are to love God and love our, our brothers and sisters, our spouses, our children, our friends, our family, and those who we see who God fills our heart, the Holy Spirit fills your heart to love. That's how you know. Not in fear. For if a person does not love his brother or sister whom he has seen, then he cannot love God whom he has not seen. Yes, this is the command we have from him. Whoever loves God must love his brother and sister also. Hallelujah. Many, 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 man. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Yes, hallelujah. Father God, I pray for each one under the sound of my voice that they will surrender and bow to you as king alone and receive God's love, your love, your love that you so lavished on us, that they will pour out in an overflow of abundance. You say our cup runs over. You've anointed our head with oil and our cup runs over. So Father God, I pray for each one under the sound of my voice that they will surrender to their call of love in the name of Yeshua, that they will love people, love God, and that they will complete their goal daily in loving God and loving people. And I pray that you are re receiving uh, all these things. Give your ears to, e ears to hear, your voice and eyes to see, that you'll pour out your gifts on your people, God. In the name of Yeshua, hallelujah. If you are, in, uh, we ask all these things, amen. And if you are new to subscribing to this channel, um, we are so happy to have you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you'd like to sew into this channel, I uh, just go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. These things all push the um, 
the ministry forward, receive the King ministries where we um, prepare our hearts and prepare the way for other people to receive Yeshua, for us to receive Yeshua and for the whole world to receive Yeshua, to prepare Israel, to prepare the Holy Temple, to prepare everything so that when he come, he's coming on the clouds, kings and kingdoms will bow down, that we will be ready to receive him into our homes, into our lives, into our hearts and be see, and, and be in unity with him. So we ask all of these things in your name, Yeshua, we pray and that every single person who sows into this ministry, that they can sow financially into this ministry by looking in the description and um, sowing in uh, financially that way. Um, and we just will pray for a blessing. I pray for a blessing over each one who sows into this ministry to advance it forward, to move your kingdom forward, that we could prepare the way for receiving our King, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords coming on the clouds taking his kingship on the earth for the millennial reign and forevermore in the new earth, earth and the new heavens. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.